Hi, we are glad that you're interested in Nagview. We believe that every company has the right to implement its own network set of rules and needs a clear view of what is in its network. To give this power to every institution, we create a Nagview, complex network access control solution with network management, IP address management and automation at hand. Nagview provides unprecedented visibility by showing all the assets in the environment and then helps you validate compliance and automate remediation. We are certain that this demo video helps you better understand our approach to network security and gets an overview of its core features and functionalities. We hope you will enjoy this brief overview. Your central point of information in Nagview is the dashboard. This can display different data, statistics and information about your network infrastructure. Authorization event charts, last authorization event details, DHCP events. In every chart you can set up time range. Currently connected devices, endpoint types from profiling, network devices, subnetworks and VLANs use or load. The dashboard contains also several different views. Tops where you have more specific statistics. For example, most frequently used network devices like access points or switches or even ports or inactive ports for some time. In connectivity, you can check what devices are in your network at the moment using table which you can filter in a console or download as an Excel file or using physical topology where you can easily check what devices are connected to which ports. Clicking on MAC address or port, you can easily display more details. Logical topology to see how VLANs are connected and statistic preview to see what kind of devices are in the network and how VLANs are loaded. Here you will see selected SNMP monitoring data from chosen devices. You can add every chart you need and display them on a single screen. In localization, you can assign network devices to specific localizations like buildings or rooms. Summary report contains node status, last important events, last authorizations, DHCP load, network device report and more basis information about your network. The summary report can be displayed in Nagu console or sent directly on administrator email. On its basis, the administrator has a quick overview of his network and its devices and thus can quickly locate problem in the network. In the object module, you have information about your network users and devices, their MAC addresses, their certificates and connections between them. Each view has table with details that you can sort, filter, modify and charge with statistics. You can add new identities using built-in creator, import them from CSV file or integrate Nagview with Active Directory or external databases to import them. Each identity has a detailed view. You can, for example, check its last activity using devices, authorization events. You can select the types to display necessary data for you or to check employees' work time. It is possible to generate a certificate or VPN configuration file and send it to users. You can communicate with users via Captive Portal or Nagu Scout application. In the same way, you can add new endpoints using Creator, CSV file or integration. A table view, graphic view, printer sapphires and more details about each endpoint. When was the last time visible in the network? Who this device belong to? security status, antivirus, update and more, health, inventory, profile, authorization event and so on. Other objects like MIC addresses, certificates, VPN clients you can display in the single table to search, filter or sort. In the network module you have information about how your network is created, subnetworks, VLANs, switches, access points. You can use network as a DHCP server and create subnetworks. Manage list time, DNS server address, DHCP usage warning level and so on. 
IP Graphic View is also at your disposal to see IP address assignments, statistics, dynamic, enabled or disabled, or to change individually or using group action to keep everything in sensible order. If you use an external DHCP server, you can configure DHCP Relay to provide information for NAGV. In network devices, you have list of all your network devices, charts with statistics, network device map, graphic view to see their status, do we have a problem on them or are they just doing fine. In the details view, you have more information, devices, localization, model, software, and more. You can even disable port. Port information, health status, authorization, and system events. MacVLAN configuration, which you can compare with the historical version or with different device configuration to display changes. SNMP monitoring, inventory, detailed port information, type, PoE, maximum transmission unit, traffic, and authorization overload. In this module, you can set up a lot of different tools up, which helps you better protect and manage your network. Access policies, the crucial configuration for your network to provide a specific set of rules for users and devices to permit their access to your network. You can choose from various authorization methods, 802.1x, for example login and password, or certificate. It can be also MAC authorization or captive portal. We have two types of action that policy can trigger. First, a regex action, when we know users, login or devices, MAC addresses which you want to deny access to the network. Second, access to VLAN. You can choose to which VLAN get access users and devices which match this policy. Then you can choose identities. It could be any identity, it could be specific login. You can choose group previously created in NACVIEW or by using external group, for example, from your Active Directory. It could be based on authorization servers or you can add various identities attributes from Active Directory. Next, you can choose which endpoints can get access to your network, any endpoint or a specific one by MAC address. Similar to identities, you can choose a group of devices, for example belonging to marketing or production. Additionally, you can add many various criteria which devices have to meet to obtain access to your network. For instance, endpoint operating system has to be up to date or antivirus has to be enabled. Then you can choose on which network devices this policy will operate. In. You can narrow the scope to a single port or group of ports. If it's Wi Fi network, you can add SSID. At the end, you can determine the time when the policy will be active. You can configure many different policies with the necessary parameters for your organization. You can also extend policy for ECNMP validation or add many various response actions like NMAP scan to more precisely check IoT devices. NACV can be integrated with external authorization servers or integration servers, for example Active Directory or your mobile device management software to have information of all your devices from a single pane of glass. NACVIEW is going to be the central point of your infrastructure and you can provide it, it with information from all of your systems and devices to react immediately when the problems occur. You can act automatically on different cases. For instance, NACVIEW can inform the administrator when the switch port doesn't respond or switch has higher temperature or can immediately disconnect the compromised device as soon as your firewall sends such alert. You can configure NACVIEW Assistant application to facilitate end users' network configuration for their end devices. You can prepare configuration for commonly used operating system, place them on captive portal from users can it easily download. Captive portal is also at your disposal. It could be used for managing to export any system functionality. For example, you can give this functionality to the front desk assistant to allow him creating guest accounts. Or it could be captive portal for authorization, where you can choose a lot of registration options, like automatic registration with text message password, email password, sponsor, 
and external authorization via social portals. There are more additional functionalities we can configure like TACAS and auto discovery for new network devices. In this module you can find every historic information about your network. Authorization events of the whole network, which you can filter, sort or download to CSV file. Mostly common use policies of your network, you can check if the appropriate group of employees are assigned to the appropriate policies. Likewise, you can view reports of the other events such as syslog, system, DHCP events and so on. The inventory module helps you keep your whole network infrastructure in the appropriate order. You can use task list to don't forget about your upcoming assignment and recording all of your historical events on event list. At the end of the day, Nagru protects your network and gives you better understanding of what is in your network. Thank you for showing interest in Nagview and watching this brief demonstration. You can read more about Nagview by visiting our homepage nagview.com or track our latest news about upcoming features by following us on our social networks.